hi guys welcome to a new video so you know if you haven't checked my instagram handle you can just check that out because i actually posed i actually put like a picture picture like posing in this whole outfit i'm wearing dark uh, dark green trousers and this hound's tooth shirt blouse so i got this a long time ago from aliexpress just uh, just before the aliexpress ban in india so long time ago still love this top really amazing hound's tooth print is like a elegant classic chic print so i actually posed with this whole blouse and trouser thing on my instagram you can check the instagram handle and starting with today's video if you haven't checked yesterday's video you can check where i do an un unboxing and i speak about hair masks and how it is important for your dry damaged and parched hair and curly hair tends to be more dry so it needs that intense hydration at least twice or maximum once a week once or twice a week is what is required so currently i have four hair masks and this is just to show you what hair masks i use i have spoken about aikte this is the aikte onion ginger hair mask and it is amazing it is it has clean ingredients people you actually use this for conditioning their hair instead of a hair mask they use it as a conditioner and i'm almost done with this but still i would repurchase this this is to consider yes i would reconsider then i had spoken about plum so much the uh, on my last video and i thought this was the hair mask that i saw in a review rating where it is green green in texture i'm so sorry that was a mistake it is not green in texture it is clearly white and i would really say it has the around the same texture as my himalaya protein hair mask which is affordable around 150 is a 200 gram tub but i use that as a styling cream this works great as a hair mask i use it just once and this is what my hair looks like this is second day hair i haven't styled my hair i had just put it on a top bun like a pineapplein we call that pineapple bun right where when you uh, sleep with a pineapple bun that is what i did and i slept and i just took out my uh, cloth rubber band the head band the cloth one with no clips nothing i took it off and my hair was like this i just ran my fingers through my scalp and my hair is like on point with this thing um it is expensive 700 bucks for this is like super expensive but it does the job and it should last me for 3 months for 3 months for this tub yes i would consider both of these this is for hair growth this for hydration it it says uh, for chemically tre treated hair and mega moisture mega moisture means it is going to hydrate your hair and it did then I haven't opened the Mama Earth hair mask, and I know many people rave about this. Oh, it doesn't have a seal. I can open. This is also green color, and I have like a strong sense of um, tea tree oil. That's the smell is intense smell of tea tree oil is what I get. and there is quite a lot of product again this should last me quite some time i don't know which is the hair mask was it the conditioner that i saw from plum that it was uh, slightly greenish olive greenish in color i do not remember but you know the job done by plum is amazing this i haven't tried i have yet to try this i'm sure i won't be disappointed because the reviews are amazing on this and people are actually recommending this as a clean hair mask with no harsh ingredients if you see the ingredient there's aqua brassica alcohol i don't know what is that brassica mido propyl uh, dimethylamine uh, cap caprylic capric triglyceride sodium high 
hyaluronate then uh, milk protein this is just like simple ingredients those are sort of scientific ingredients avocado oil curd extract argan oil rosemary oil okay so that's what it uh, smells like rosemary it does have tea tree oil cedar wood oil potassium sorbate and sodium citrate in the end they say product contains uh, natural ingredients make change color and fragrance without uh, what testing effectiveness even natural ingredients can cause and trigger existing existing allergies patch test i don't think this will go in this will do any allergy for me because i have used many hair masks and this having natural in i can i can just tell that it won't do for me at least if you want to do a patch test you can do it but then the hair mask that i have been pronouncing wrong for so long is the derma doc and i have been saying derma lock derma lock derma lock it's a derma doc and it has silicones in it wait where, where, where is the ingredients i did read the ingredients that it has silicones in it yeah no is pentanol a silicone no you idiot it is vitamin b5 i don't know i heard that pentanol is a silicone but whatever it has the silicone feel when i apply it. this seems like a oil in cream when i apply it on my hair and this has a silicone texture I don't know if you can see it has a silicone texture. This is around 234 rupees affordable. Uh, it does hydrate my hair, but I do not know hydration to what extent. Does it coat my hair with that pentanol? I still do not know. I have like a clean feel when I apply this. Not that I'm uh, trying to bash this company or anything. It doesn't suit my hair. That's all. It doesn't suit my hair. All in all, it's an affordable one. If you have like uh straight hair i think this should suit you it doesn't suit my hair that much i was having like mixed feelings about the ikte one i know in one of my videos i said this is better than ikte but no clean ingredients like i said this doesn't seem to have any uh natural ingredient in it everything sounds all all uh, what you say chemically like see water sodium gluconate Uh, Trithalonolamine, D-pentanol, aloe vera leaf is something I know. Lausonia, Lausonia has to do with lasun garlic. I don't know. Uh, em, Emblica, olive oil is something I know. Ethes, Ethexil fragrance, hibiscus, rose. Okay, Polyquatinium. I have never read this and the last ingredient is sunflower seed oil there are two three other ingredients like phenoxythanol see these are complicated names uh but all in all I do love my hair mask only this is uh, I have like a 50 50 feeling for this mm. it could do work for work for you but you know the amount i have spent for the, the these two this is 500 this is 700 and this is around 3 300 500 something like that it's cost effective it does good to my hair if it has to do with the health of your hair i think you can spend as much because you don't want to go bald you can have split ends you can go through balding and uh, dry hair looks ugly at least to me because my hair needs like intense hydration so this is the amount i've spent on this and i really really enjoy this hair mask i don't know if you have any ideas about hair masks which i should try you can comment below if you are knowledge you have the knowledge of hair masks you can comment below uh, you know which one i should try preferably uh, something that is organic and clean clean ingredient has clean ingredients in no silicones no sulfates no parabens no mineral oil you know those kind because i'm trying to be clean clean with my hair products uh, i have used the herbal essence i'm going to stop that i have brought the same botanica i'll continue with the same botanica same botanica works just fine for me but 
your hair needs hair hydration time to time if you are you are into styling like i said in my earlier video i've spoken quite a bit you are into styling you need hair masking every week at least okay someone in my neighborhood is getting married so i cannot continue with this video for long that's all for this video don't forget to subscribe hit notification bell like this video if you liked it my twitter and instagram handles will be linked in the description box below even if you can go in my about section it's there and i will at the end of the video you can check my user id of the two uh, social media media handles until then bye